A Russian doctor of military sciences says Moscow should just nuke Yellowstone if tensions boil over. What's going on, guys? Make Hay Electric. It is April the 2nd, 2015, Thursday. I'm not here with an April Fool's joke. This article from Yahoo, add Russia to the list of Operation Blackjack possibilities. Let me give you this. Earlier this week, a Russian president of the Academy of Geopolitical Problems outlined two geophysically weak U.S. regions to attack in order to combat NATO's aggression toward Russia. A uh, doctor of military sciences describes scenarios that involve dropping a nuclear weapon on Yellowstone supervolcano or the San Andreas Fault. Now we're used to hearing a little Kim out of North Korea talk about he's going to blow up the world. However, we're not talking about North Korea. We're talking about Russia listing Yellowstone and the San Andreas Fault as possible nuclear targets for mass devastation. I'll give you the article from Yahoo. This will be an Operation Blackjack warning. i got a ton of stuff to give you. This comes as Russia's Yemen consulate damaged amid Saudi-led airstrikes, says embassy sources from RT. I'm sure they're not happy about that. Russia threatens to use nuclear force over Crimea and the Bal and Baltic states. This from the Independent within the last couple days. Put a link to that. I got another from RT. Speaking of Crimea, 100 Russian military units created in Crimea, says Defense Minister. This whole thing is reaching points to where I don't believe we've seen any of this in the past, what, since I've been doing these kind of videos. I mean, this is scary talk. This is Russia. I don't think Putin would have a problem pushing the button if he is, in fact, still in charge. I don't know. I'll put a link to this. I got a lot of stuff to give you here. We got the nuke deal with Iran. No nuke agreement yet. Iran talks push past deadline. They're talking crap about Obama, as they should. You know how Obama had a red line on Syria that, you know, was stepped all over. Now he had a, he had a deadline on Iran talks, and it's the deadline's passed. Nothing's going on. Not that I want to see war, but it just makes the United States look, look weak, in my opinion. The Washington Times says, uh, absent Iran nuclear deal, military option will remain on the table. Here's where we're getting into the Operation Blackjack warning. Let me give you this. Keeping in mind, we are already bombing Syria. I'll give you a link on that. As of March 27th, military attacks continue against ISIS in Syria and Iraq. March 27, 2015, from the United States Central Command. I'm going to give you a link to the blackjack slide. Who do we bomb after multiple targets are hit in America, Canada, Mexico, Iran, Syria, China? Now, China is kind of a stretch right now. However, China is in cahoots supposedly with the whole Russia bank, you know, the BRICS bank and all that. So China is not too far out of reach. Iran and Syria, though, we're already bombing Syria. Iran up next. I'll put a link to the Telegraph. The American people are not going to buy this, in my opinion, without a big false flag. You know, the, the American people are not going to say, okay, let's start bombing, let's start bombing Iran without something big. It's just my opinion. SHTFplan.com has this. Let's talk about the markets being rigged. Experts admit conspiracy theorists are right about the rigged stock market. The dirty secret is out. <coughs> this posted March 18, 2015. Conspiracy theorists are right about the rigged market. Are they getting ready to pull the plug? Market Watch has investors fly away from U.S. stock market funds at the rate last seen, has, has not been seen since 2009. So investors rapidly leaving the market. Something about to go down. Chechnya, let's talk about Jade Helm. Chechnya threatens to arm Mexico against U.S. I did a little more digging to come up with this link from CNBC. It is true, Russia threatening to arm Mexico to retake the southwest United States. On to Jade Helm. Special forces set to swarm southwest and operate undetected among civilians in massive military exercise. That being Jade Helm set to kick off in July, from July to September, I believe, although we've already seen it going on in Fort Lauderdale. Put a link from the, the Daily Mail. Now, is that is, is Jade Helm somehow tied into this, this threat from Russia to arm Mexico to take back America? While at the same time, they're threatening, well, not threatening, but they're suggesting nuclear weapons be detonated on Yellowstone and the San Andreas. I mean, these are interesting times. Millions of Americans. Now, I realize I'm preaching to the choir. People watching my video are probably already aware of all this. But hopefully I'm reaching somebody new. This is a very discouraging article. Let me give you this. Millions of Americans are embarrassingly ill-informed, and they do not care. This country is so pacified with, with Facebooks and iPhones, the majority of people do not care. I understand this. Hopefully there are people out there who do care. Maybe there's somebody at the FBI. Maybe there's somebody in law enforcement. If something goes down in America, please do not let it be another 9-11. Do not let it be another big-ass lie. Because you can bet the official story is going to be just that. 
That's why I'm glad I make these videos. I'm glad I make people aware of all this stuff going on. And if you're not, or not aware of the Operation Blackjack false flag scenario, those links will definitely be at the bottom. Investigate that. It's awfully funny. The dates for Operation Blackjack were always given in June. Never a year. Just, what, June 21st, 22nd. Just before Jade Helm is supposed to kick off. I don't know. Is this the year of the Blackjack? I certainly hope not. But I'll give you this link saying millions of Americans are ill-informed and most people don't care. Most people just turn on TV and believe whatever it's telling them. Well, if you're somebody who does care, maybe you're somebody just coming around, you should really go back and look at 9-11 again. Because a lot of the problems we have now, we got the Patriot Act, the NDA, all of this, the majority of this came about out of 9-11. If people can look at the government now and see how corrupt and see how, how much they lie to you, I mean, it's all over the place. You can't deny that anymore. The people running the government now were the same people running it back then. The President of the United States is there to look good for the camera and execute orders given to him by the New World Order masters, by the bankers, the people who really run this planet. So you've got to go back and look at 9-11 again. Because if they're lying to you now, you think they weren't lying to you then? I'll put a link, great video from We Are Change, two and a half minutes long. Congressmen speak out on Obama's Saudi Arabia 9-11 cover-up, declassify the 28 pages. Couple more videos at the bottom. Smoke Joe Trainer was great to see you, man. He put out his thoughts on Jade Helm 2015. Definitely have a listen to that. As well as Bumper Tapper 2. Good to hear your voice, sir. He put out a video. Definitely check his information out. Very interesting stuff. Could indeed be the case. You'll have to pull up his video to figure it out. Anyway, guys, please tell me your thoughts on all this. Please be aware. Rate this video. Pass it around. Make people aware of what's going on. We could wake up tomorrow to a whole different world. I certainly hope nothing ever happens. But forever vigilance, I will be. You guys take care. Stay safe always. I will see you on the next one.